so introduce us. You are Coves. You've been around for just under a year. So do you want to start with how that all starts off? Yeah. Well, um, me and Fazl met each other for years, and Jordan and Connor met each other for years, I guess. Um, Four years. Yeah. So me and Fazl were looking to get into a band uh, after being in bands in the past, so we've not been in anything at the moment. And so with Jordan and Connor, so Fazl went to Jordan, and then got a practice, and yeah, the group started there. <laughs> Has it been a different experience to your previous bands? Yes. Yeah. 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 Complete like. Quite different music, quite different ways of doing things. It's just like compared to other bands, I think it's just nice. Like the way that we write and everyone's opinion like matters. Like it's not like one primary song or anything like that. You know, like we go into a room and someone else starts playing something, and we all join in, and that's how we put every song in our set rather than someone coming in and going. I've got these lyrics and these comments, let's do it like this. It's all nice and chill now, yeah. you know, like, we don't go in straight away thinking, right, we've got to write three songs today. It's just like, play and see what happens if we write a song and play it's like, yeah. yeah. So then like, either Johnny or John usually stop recording the forward as well. So then we sort of just file track after about four days. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's like it's all sort of like really nice and relaxed, and um, every song sort of just just comes from a from a jam really, and it like it was like change your mind was the first one we ever ever wrote, but it was nowhere near a song. And we felt like it was like an eight minute jam. Yeah. The, first, it's the first thing we played yeah. when we picked up our instruments in the first rehearsal. Yeah. 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 And we just sort of yeah, right, we have these long we have the, have the recordings, and that, that's maybe the only time where there's like any sort of. Sort of, like real sort of decisions yeah. made, like all parts and bits, and then that you know, other than that, really, most most songs sort of just come quite naturally. And like once we've been doing more recently, we spent obviously a lot more time on because we sort of want to try and make things different and keep things fresh. And I think it's about it's about yeah. like, when we first started, it was all about just doing loads of things real quick and getting our name out there and saying we need a set and like, just showing people what we're about. Whereas now we're planning stuff and not playing quite as many local gigs and stuff like that, thinking about the songs like what works and what don't for like the trial and everything. Hopefully, like, people know what we're about now. What our sound is and so we don't need to be doing gigs every week to try and get out with them out there hopefully it's sort of out there now isn't it? There's a recording to build up as well there's like a reference for everyone else to start and listen to it from so that's, that's nice as well. I think the new single do a lot for us like we've had it for a couple of months now it's been real hard to just sort of keep it to ourselves. I'm gonna do card and note. Let's talk about the last couple of months then. So you have the Scunthorpe Rock Open. You described that last time we spoke as a real learning experience. So what did you take away from that? Um, Probably just. I think for us, like it, throughout the process of the, of the, of the competition, I think we sort of learned to appreciate the best parts of our set, maybe, and how we could not condense it by like you know chopping out loads of choruses or songs in particular, but like you know thinking about you know the whole the whole process was about being able to impress the people, which was the judges in this case. But um, you know for us that was it was all about how we could get the most out of our set. How we could, Sort of where's the best place for each song to be, um, what's the best to start on, what's going to get people in the mood, what's going to be a great, like, a great ending for it. And I think for me, anyway, I think that's probably the thing that we've taken, out, taken from it the most. Was sort of working on a really good set that was like sort of concise to the point, and apart from the final, was sort of good enough to be the air. Uh, it's good set of the night, you know, that's how it's that sort of it's good to pick apart our set. And, Really look at it really intensely and see what worked and what the extra kind of work as well. So it's nice on that, that front. 
And then of course you played with Pigeon Detectives and the Hobbits. Yeah, it was yeah. an amazing night. So tell us about that experience. I've never played through full before. I've always, I think me and Connor have been in a band before we've played it. So maybe half full or quarter full, but not full which it was on that night. It was, it was just great, it was such a good atmosphere. Yeah. It was like that from the start as well. Yeah. well we were excited for that show for weeks before yeah. it, and then it came around and then it, and then it was done. And I wanted to just do it. <laughs> <laughs> it was a server, so yeah. Yeah. I think when you have when you have a gig like that, especially because like you know, like this this unthought night was was absolutely packed. Like that room was the warmest room ever. Like it was, there was so many people in there. Like it was just sweat bucket for it. Yeah, stand up. and it was like it was like you know, like on the door, it was one in, one out. It was it was it really was more full than I think anyone ever thought it was going to be. And then um, so then to do through under the same conditions again, it's like you've almost got like an expectancy to keep playing things of, 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 of that style. But uh, it's, yeah, it's, it, I think it's sort of. There's, not, there's nothing easier than playing in front of a full crowd for me. I think it's sort of you the atmosphere, feed off that yeah, the, the, the atmosphere and energy is already there, and, and you know, like even if people don't care, like you don't feel like it matters because they're obviously already in and watching. So it's like, but as well, people wear up for it as well. Where the yeah, yeah, it's great. One just like they were like waiting for pigeon tents. They were sort of interested in what we were doing, which was really nice. Really well. mixed crowd as well. Like yes. I noticed at first, it was like a lot of like young people. Do you know, like a lot, a lot of like young teenagers, yeah. but then like as the night went on, like before we got on, there was more sort of people our age and then older as well. It was a real like broad spectrum yeah. of ages. Yeah. We've got quite a lot of likes out of it on Facebook afterwards and stuff, which is all like, you know, like, at the end of the day, when you, when you do a gig and you see that people have obviously taken time then to find you yeah. and follow what you're doing. I thought about how to spell our name like five minutes before I type it in. Yeah, we just double check. How do you spell it? C from a B E S. Right. We'll have to find it now. There is a band called Cubs, C O V E S. Whenever we do gigs, their likes seem to go up. They've got fans. Yeah, so it's. But yeah, it's great. Okay, so that was 2014. Obviously, the single comes out soon and the launch is next Thursday. Um, this video should go out after that, so we can either do a before and after shot, or you can just tell us your expectations, what you can hope in the night of So th this video goes out after the scene? Yes, go on, let's try it. Oh. <laughs> so I really like the part where John the yeah. crowd said yeah, at the end. That was good. Um, Jimmy that Page that? said we played well, that was cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the crowd ripped John's clothes off. Yeah. He stood there in his pants. Yeah. Not the first time. Um, but they were, I'm not in it at all. They were in it. They were kind of fell off his stomach. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, no, I think, like, obviously, it's going to be. It's, it's a chance for us to sort of see. Well, to be like the headliners for the night and sort of, you know, obviously. Our we've night. Not booked anything for a while, like, either side of it. Um, especially sort of afterwards, so, like, you know, we've been talking and speaking about it. You've said, this could be it for a few weeks or something, depending on what comes up. But, like, you know, it's, we said this, you know, this is the one where we want to do everything special. We've got new, like, new songs lined up. And, uh, and just, yeah, it's just nice to be on the like, just to be the headliners for the night. And just, uh, you know, we're giving away uh, for everyone who, everyone who comes to it or who came to it for talking in the future. Um, <laughs> we hope you enjoyed the free download. download. <laughs> they, get, they, get, they get a free download. You know, if, when you come in on the door, we'll take people's email addresses. They get an exclusive um, downloadable copy of the, of the new single, which we're not going to release properly until we've got music we've heard of, which is one of the things we're looking forward to in the next few weeks. It's going to be a good thing. But it'll be nice as well for people to hear the song like, because yeah. it's sort of recorded end of November and we just start November. Yeah, start November. Yeah. So I've been sat on for the time being, just wanted to organise a release and sort of get people excited for it. It's been real difficult to not just like sign into Facebook and just go, it's just listen, yeah. listen to it. No, I'm I can find out I lost it for a few weeks. It's not a problem for me. <laughs> Text me the other day, can you send me that um, wave strap we recorded? <laughs> <laughs> Why? My ears. <laughs> <laughs> so what else can we look forward to? We've got music video, new single. Uh, we're going out of town a lot. Um, so we've got a few around West Yorkshire. We've got a few like gigs lined up. Um, just yes, yeah, so I'm spreading our wings a bit. It'll be nice. We've played 
Scunthorpe, Cleethorpe, Grimsby. The like Lincolnshire. Yeah, yeah. 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 Practically own that. Well, the house can't yeah. 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 So it'd be nice. So people in Hull have heard of us, and people across the river have heard of us. So it'd be nice to sort of spread a bit further and hopefully the people of Leeds, Manchester, and Sheffield will enjoy the curves. <laughs> <laughs> the curves? Yeah. Like, even you can't say I don't know. Well, enjoy curves. <laughs> <laughs> the um, EP album? Well, we, 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 we talk, we've said about um, maybe recording like a bit of a quick fire second single of the year, to, but again, like, you know, we know that we can be patient now to boost to record anything soon, you know, we could, could maybe hold it to like Easter after Easter time, depending on how well this, you know, like this single sort of goes down, you know, we, we start to write songs that are a lot shorter and a lot more catchy, catchy radio friendly, you know, like nice bright songs, so hopefully um, Waves will be able to squeeze onto people's shows all the time, because it's only like three minutes long, so, you know, we're, we're if, if it goes down well, then there's no, no reason why we can't do all this again. Like, you know, booked the BBC introducing session to coincide with it all, and then obviously we get, we've given ourselves so much time to book it on the that. Obviously, get you guys to come and talk, you know, like to come and give us fair exposure and stuff. So it's, it's you know, sometimes I think if you, if you plan it out properly, you can. It's sort of quite nice right now. This is all it's like a bit of a stress free week really. To say we've got so much going on. It's been a long time coming out of the jail, we've sort of had time to be really ready for it. Nice. We did intend to get the music video out for the single launch as well, but we've pushed that back a little bit because it's not quite a venue, venue issues. <laughs> but when it when it happens in the be I think it's really creative. <laughs> and then it'll be festival season again. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Which we started like that's you know, that's one thing we've certainly started to talk about now, isn't it? Like which which festivals to be to, all all the ones we played earlier on this year with uh, we've got in touch with them again and you know, said whatever you know, if you if you've got spaces again this summer, make room for code. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. It's a matter of town festivals as well, hopefully. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think, like, obviously, you know, you, like, how the, like, on the street session, freedom festival, and things like that, like, you want to be able to sort of round the summer off and, you know, and sort of, it's, the, it's a nice midpoint of the year, isn't it, to, to like, play in front of really good crowds, everyone's in a really good spirit at the festival, so it's always nice to play in front of them. And then, um, but yeah, like, any, anything that we get out of town would be great, it's really good to sort of play somewhere different people don't really know what to expect when you see a band that they don't know. You know, like again back to the school thought thing, we sort of feel like we've got to a point now where the sets enough to impress, you know, like it's the it's the best and it's like almost like the best of in a condensed set, you know, we, we try and um, you know hopefully make the most impact possible really with taking you know, taking that out of the competition. I've started to look like an Excel, you know, I just, and then just like sort of research into different festivals, and I just like sort of in the detail I've put in there, so then sort of build up to like a small like festival space, just the applications, because some of it is all like applications as well, so you have to apply for it as well. So, so if you've got a festival and you want to be featured on Connor's spreadsheet, please <laughs> drop us a message. <laughs> <laughs> You're you know, relaxed and laid back. You sound like really organised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I suppose we'll come back to the podcast. Don't tell them. Come on, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think, like, obviously, experience from previous bands again sort of helped. We all have all different experiences, and but in the same way, like, I think all of them come together you know, quite nicely at the moment. We're all sort of enjoying it, doing really good things, and you know, hopefully we'll get more gigs like your pigeon detectives and things like that, you know, that's, then, you know, you know that's the sort of, like, it really sort of boosts your, not your ego, because that's like, that's what, like, you know, it makes you sound cocky, but like, it, it makes you feel good about what you're doing, like, yeah, you know, it makes you feel like you're doing something right as well, do you know, yeah. Yeah. to get that recognition, so I think we're good enough to support pigeon detectives are, play a higher band festival of this, it's a nice feeling to get. 2014 was pretty decent year, hopefully 2015 yeah. just, just going to come back to it. Yeah. 40 gigs in 2014. Yeah, we'll probably do a few less this year. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're like, <laughs> yeah, four, maybe. We, we, I think 
the, probably the best one was the, the Trinity Festival weekend where I think we squeezed, was it four or five, or five, or five two days, two days, yeah. something like that. We, 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 we thought it would be a great idea to sort of, you know, to get back down to our organisation. like, well, we're out, we might as well be out all day. <laughs> and we, we found like an early, early lunchtime deal. Then there was like one in the middle of the, like middle of the afternoon and then there was a night time one and it was like, yeah, why would you, why would you just do all the night time, early morning? Well, yeah, yeah, we played in position.